this will be the second coaster from Maor with the spike system. Uh, it's the second generation, it's a 2.0. This system is um, a 100 horsepower motor, has a rack and pinion gear, that allows for acceleration anywhere on the track that a, that a park wants. Typically, you normally have a zone where you have an acceleration. This one allows you to have acceleration wherever you wish to have it. So this gives you the flexibility to control the entire vehicle within two centimeters at all times throughout the track. That gives you a what we call a moving block zone. So there's a minimum speed and a maximum speed. And the control system's constantly doing a matrix. So it's got a green area, and if it, the ride goes too slow, it gives it power. If it's, uh, it's going too close to the other vehicle, it uh, slows it down. So it's a very simple, simple matrix that is running in a simple calculation. The ability to have a 100 horsepower motor on here, rather than doing an energy calculation, allows the park to lay out the track any way they wish. So we don't need the entire energy calculation anymore. So if you want a low ride or you want a high spot, and actually the way we kind of would like to do it now with the park is to give them elements. So if you want to put together a bunch of different elements, uh, loops, whatever, we, we kind of don't care. Do it however you want to make it that, uh, that the park decides this is the kind of ride and style we want to do. Uh, the, the uh, system has uh, the ability to change over a couple different ride profiles. So maybe the park wants to, at 11 o'clock, have a children's hour. In the children's hour, you maybe reduce the power by 80%. So the kids can still drive it, but now the little kids can all drive as well, which is kind of unique and different. Uh, normally, when you have a roller coaster, you hope it comes out how you calculate. But with this ride, we can change it after you made the ride. So if the park president rides it and says, you know what, it's a little bit too slow here, a little bit too fast here, we can change it after you make the track, which is makes for the probability of a better successful ride at the very end. The last thing maybe we should talk about is the fact that you have onboard power, lighting, you can have any kind of uh, video capture, things like this that uh, might give it a little extra fun. Uh, we can have, of course, this is fiberglass, this is Ducati. Uh, this project here, we um, have a windshield and a gasoline tank that's original from Ducati, but could be anything you want it to be. Uh, it's a simple motor and a platform to make whatever you want to dream up. Uh, if the park decides at some point they want to change an area, and they say, listen, uh, we'd like to add a water park, but this roller coaster is in the way. We can cut the track and connect it again, and we don't have to worry about all the energy calculations. So that gives us flexibility in the future to do something different with the ride. Um, so I think this is uh, probably the main points. The, probably the last point is the restraint system is, is absolutely unique. Uh, we can't do inversions with this restraint. The restraint's like a seat belt in a car. It has seven metal strands, and the strands are all monitored. And so if one of them is uh, broken, then the ride automatically stops. Uh, but this gives you a lot of freedom upstairs, so there's no pinching or over the shoulders or head banging or anything like this. Uh, so this, this seat belt is also unique only to the spike system. So it'll go down to a very small child or a very large guest without having to click, click into the stomach, which kind of makes for a really nice uh, uh, ride experience. So. I hope you'll come try it and uh, come see us in uh, Maria, Maria, say it, Maria Valandia. I can't say it, I'm not Italian. <laughs> Maria Valandia, uh, and, and uh, we'll all try it together.